problem sum quiz for kids there are three rows of chairs each row had four chairs how many chairs are there in total Twelve chairs. To find the total number of chairs, we need to multiply the number of rows by the number of chairs in each row. Total number of rows is three. Total number of chairs in each row is four. Now, three multiplied by four is twelve. So there are twelve chairs in total. There are four rows of books. Each row had six books. How many books are there in total? Twenty-four books. To find the total number of books, we need to multiply the number of rows. by the number of books in each row total number of rows is 4 total number of books in each row is 6 now 4 multiplied by 6 is 24 so there are 24 books in total there are 6 rows of plants Each row has two plants. How many plants are there in total? Twelve plants. To find the total number of plants, multiply the number of rows by the number of plants in each row. Total number of rows is Six. Total number of plants in each row is two. Now six multiplied by two is twelve. So there are twelve plants in total. A box contains eight apples. How many apples are there in seven such boxes? Fifty-six apples. To find the total number of apples, multiply the number of boxes by the number of apples in each box. Total number of boxes is seven. Number of apples in each box is eight. Now seven multiplied by eight is fifty-six. So there are fifty-six apples in total. A box contains six oranges. How many oranges are there in five such boxes? Thirty oranges. To find the total number of oranges, multiply the number of boxes by the number of oranges in each box. Total number of boxes is five. Number of oranges in each box is six. Now five multiplied by six is thirty. So there are thirty oranges in total. A box contains nine pencils. How many pencils are there in four such boxes? Thirty-six pencils. To find the total number of pencils, multiply the number of boxes by the number of pencils in each box. Total number of boxes is four. 
नंबर ऑफ पेंसिल्स इन ईच बॉक्स इज नाइन नाउ फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नाइन इज थर्टी सिक्स सो देर आर थर्टी सिक्स पेंसिल्स इन टोटल A train had six coaches. Each coach holds 12 people. How many people can fit on the train? Seventy-two people. To find the total number of people, multiply the number of coaches by the number of people. Each coach can hold. Total number of coaches is six. Number of people each coach can hold is twelve. Now six multiplied by twelve is seventy-two. So seventy-two people can fit on the train. A bus has three sections. Each section holds. 17 passengers how many passengers can fit on the bus 51 passengers to find the total number of passengers multiply the number of sections by the number of passenger each section can hold total number of sections is Three. Number of passengers each section holds seventeen. Now three multiplied by seventeen is fifty-one. So fifty-one passengers can fit on the bus. A hotel has eight floors. Each floor has twelve rooms. How many rooms are there in the hotel? Ninety-six rooms. To find the total number of rooms, multiply the number of floors by the number of rooms on each floor. Total number of floors is eight. Numbers of rooms on each floor is twelve. Now eight multiplied by twelve is ninety-six. So. There are ninety-six rooms in the hotel. A baker prepares six cakes. Each cake requires four eggs. How many eggs does the baker use in total? Twenty-four eggs. To find the total number of eggs, multiply the number of cakes by the number of eggs required for each cake. Total number of cakes is six. Number of eggs required per cake is four. Now six multiplied by four is twenty-four. So the baker uses. Twenty-four eggs in total. A potter makes three sets of mugs. Each set contains fifteen mugs. How many mugs does the potter make? Forty-five mugs. To find the total number of mugs, multiply the number of sets by the number of mugs in each set. Total number of sets is three. Number of mugs in each set is fifteen. Now three multiplied by fifteen is forty-five. So the potter makes forty-five mugs in total.